What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Errol Spence, and Terrence Crawford. Get this. Hearn chimes in on Spence Crawford. He says to the general world, it's not as big as you think it is. Hmm. Like many, Eddie Hearn was <clears throat> shocked when the news of Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford's choice of opponent was officially revealed. After months of what appeared to be a promising negotiation, Hearn was convinced that Crawford, the WBO welterweight trinket holder, would soon swap fist with Errol Spence, yet both sides began stalling. Okay, Like many, Hearn was in shock when the news of Terrence Crawford's choice was revealed. After months of what appeared promising, Hearn was convinced that Crawford, the WBO and Errol Spence will get it on. Having left Spence at the negotiating altar, Crawford instead took on David on uh, decided to fight David Avenesian on December 10th at the Shy Health Center in Omaha, Nebraska. For the moment, news initially broke. Hearn admits that he let out a gigantic sigh while the longtime promoter exhibited a considerable amount of excitement for Crawford versus Spence. He's somewhat understanding of Crawford's position despite having no interest in seeing him face Avanesian. He said, I mean, look, sooner or later, Crawford has to fight. The Hearn said, he said he's been out of the ring for quite some time. It's obviously disappointing for boxing. Crawford versus Avanesian is a fight that no one wants to see. Before locking in the 34-year-old fringe contender as his next foe, Crawford sat on the sidelines for the entire entirety of 2022 and prior to his recent stretch of inactivity Crawford was last spotted in the ring November of 2021 in what amounted to the fifth defense of his WBO crown Crawford fought past the bruising Sean Porter resulting in a 10th round stoppage win and Hearn admits that the boxing world is anxious to witness the pound for pound square off he comes to a conclusion that the that from a broad a broader standpoint the monetary requirements are simply out of touch with reality. Hmm. He says sometimes the fighters expectancy of how much money they should make in a fight isn't real life. The problem with Spence versus Crawford is to us, to people in boxing it's a massive fight, but to the general world is not as big as you think it is. So, therefore, the money these guys want is not necessarily achievable. Hmm. Okay. Well, what does Eddie Hearn mean by that? Uh, the selling power of both guys. Um, I feel, honestly, for both guys, I feel that their promoters failed them both. Bob Arum failed Terrence Crawford. He did. He paid him a lot of money, but he failed him promoting him. Bob Arum is at a point where I mean, maybe he's just too old. He needs to hang up the gloves a long time ago. He should have stopped promoting because when you get to a point where you can't promote your fighter and you expect your fighter to promote themselves and themselves only, you're not doing your job. Same thing for Errol Spence. Errol Spence is in a situation where he has the fighters that support his particular claim to fame of being the best welterweight, but he doesn't have anyone really backing him, okay? The money that he makes, the the gates versus the pay-per-views don't really reflect what he's worth getting paid. That's why he fought guys like Sean Porter for $2 million and Sean Porter got $2 million, okay? As opposed to 20 years prior, people, you had... Uh, Felix Trinidad making $7 million and Oscar De La Hoya making twenty. Do you see the difference? It's like boxing is taking a nosedive, a nosedive, right? It's taking a nosedive for the worst because we don't have promotions no more. We don't have those top fighters no more. We need someone that's going to really come in and make a splash. Sean Porter was probably the closest we had on an ideal 
uh, um, <clears throat> example, welterweight that could generate that type of popularity. But unfortunately, he was in a tough crowd of people where like Keith Thurman and Errol Spence and those kind of guys, you know, he had to fight those guys. But <clears throat> none of those guys were never on the level. And I think they were never on the level because I feel that they weren't promoted like they should have been. You got it. You have promoters like like um, or advisors like Al Heyman. Al Heyman is in cahoots with Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellerby. All those guys is damn near like the father, the son and the Holy Ghost. Right. Because they really control all of those guys over there. And when you still have Floyd doing exhibition fights and making his own promotion or spending and wasting energy and time and money, you know, and resources on himself, he doesn't have time to promote his fighters there. Thus, Errol Spence is not and wasn't able to be that superstar. Sure, um, maybe a few channels, YouTube channels were paid off to make you think that Errol Spence is bigger than Canelo Alvarez or Anthony Joshua, but that's a farce, that's a lie. OK, that's absurd to think that he's to that star power. Now, it was clever for him fighting Mikey Garcia back in 2018, you know, and beating the brakes off the smaller Mexican because everyone knows that Mexicans support their own. Everyone knows that, you know, from a na nation, from a national standpoint, they support their fighters. They come out and, and, and support. They buy the pay-per-views you know, those type of things. And the gate was massive. And Errol Spence knew that, just like Al Heyman knew that for Floyd Mayweather. That's why he put him in there with a lot of uh, uh, Latin fighters, you know, like Maidana and like Juan Manuel Marquez, you know, like Manny Pacquiao, you know, from the Philippines. Eventually, eventually, though, that took time. But both of these guys, <clears throat> their skills and their ability exceed their promotional uh, reach. You know, and it's sad because, again, I blame it on, I blame that on the promotional companies that back those fighters or that back those, backed those fighters with, uh, like with uh, Terrence Crawford and Bob Arum. Bob Arum made sure that he demoted Terrence Crawford instead of promoted Terrence Crawford. So um, what Eddie Hearn was saying is, hey, it's not achievable. That's why he wanted to go nowhere near Terrence Crawford. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn saying that the fight isn't as big as what you think from a financial standpoint. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.